I've traded the wet and cold Pacific Northwest for a little bit warmer climate in Hawaii. the island of Maui. Workshop starts uh, tomorrow. I picked the participants up at the airport, but I'm just scouting, coming to places I've been before just to see how conditions are, and I'm glad I did. A lot has changed on, on Hawaii due to COVID and just a lot of tourists coming. Uh, a lot of the parks that used to you just go to now require reservations, and you have to get online and do that in advance. So I'm glad I'm here early so I can take care of all of those kind of logistics. And uh, I am shooting it uh, I would love to say the name of the park, but I'm going to just put it right here because I would totally butcher it because it's a lot of letters and, and vowels. <laughs> um, but it's a state park on the road to Hana toward the end, and it's these incredibly black lava walls and rocks. It's all just, it's super sharp and jaggy. You don't want to fall on it for sure. There's a sea arch over there, and then black sand beaches everywhere. And in between all of it is this incredibly lush green vegetation that's just such a great contrast to the rock. Uh, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a great trip. Can't wait to share it with, with you guys and uh, with everybody that's coming. It's going to be a lot of fun and we're going to get some amazing photos. This is Ho'okipa Beach. This is a great place to shoot on Maui for sunrise. So I'm trying to find a composition that's that's going to really work with the water level that we have today. It's a little higher. The waves are a bit uh, more robust than when I first got on the island. And it changes every single day, obviously. So I'm going to get set up, find something, and then I'll share it with you. So I have my first composition set. I like it a lot. I'm pretty low to the ground. Let me show you what it looks like. With eight participants in the workshop, I just didn't have a whole lot of time to vlog. Plus, I had some camera issues that morning at Ho'okipa. But I wanted to share with you my favorite photographs from that beach over the course of the workshop. pretty waterfall here on the way back and we stopped it's a state park super easy access super standard composition if you notice it's perfect framing we've got some flowers uh, on the left and this one on the right that's framing that waterfall right in the middle perfectly vertical shot 100 millimeters it's super simple so I'm taking some shots between like a fifth a quarter a third 
to a little less than half a second and I'll pick when I get back on the computer. Um, obviously got a polarizer on. The sun keeps going out in and out behind clouds so you have to watch that because the exposure will change on you very very quickly and you definitely don't want to blow out any of those highlights. So my composition looks a lot like what you're seeing here and fortunately showing you the back of the camera just doesn't work with the glare but um, I love this tree over here with the roots coming up and out and that little waterfall in the back this is on my framing on my left and I got these giant like uh, palm leaves uh, that are coming into the frame from the right it really adds a sense of place to the photograph polarizing the water somewhere around a half a second F16 ISO 50 because it's pretty bright and uh, even with a polarizer on I am I'm struggling to get the shutter speed that I want. We're doing sunset tonight at Haleakala and uh, Summit is over 10,000 feet of elevation which is why I'm wearing a cap and I've got a hoodie on and I'm about to put a jacket on because right now with the sun up it's still about 45 degrees and when the sun hits that horizon it's going to drop really really quick plus it's windy but Reservations for sunrise are incredibly hard to get. They're very limited and the amount of days out you have to get it and then there's a lottery. And we had multiple cars to, to try to win that, to get those tickets, just didn't make it really feasible. So we decided just to do uh, sunset. And being above the clouds is really surreal. Uh, I think I, let me just show you what it looks like. Sunrise is usually preferable over sunset because shooting sunrise allows you to shoot down into the crater and have the sun come up through those clouds. When shooting sunset, you don't get that luxury for any kind of foreground. So I decided to do something different. We're out at the KNA Peninsula this morning and the conditions are absolutely perfect. We had a great sunrise and now we're, sh we're shooting the waves as they crash against the shore and it's absolutely incredible. It's beautiful. I got to show you. This is cool. So the trick is not blowing those waves out. They were hitting direct sunlight was or, or was skimming across, not maybe direct, but was, was coming across and was backlighting those waves. And then when that happens, you have to like really be careful not to blow those, blow those highlights out. And my shutter speed is around 80th to 100th of a second, which just gives a little bit of motion to the waves where I like it. But you have to take and just ramp that ISO back and forth <clears throat> in order to get a good exposure and not blow those waves out when they, when they start crashing back there. So I know that I've got some good shots this morning. So let me show you what I came away with right here. Photo workshops are a great way to immerse yourself and improve your photography. Beginner or advanced, my workshops are for everyone. I'll provide the right amount of instruction you need so everyone comes away with amazing photos. You get to visit stunning locations without the worry of rental cars, finding lodging, where the best spots are to photograph, 
or when's the best time to shoot. Need help processing your photos? No matter your experience, I'll provide hands-on assistance in Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop to make your photos look their best. My workshops include all your lodging, instruction, park entry fees, and transportation, except your airfare. Have a question? Leave a comment below, or be sure to check out my website at www.jamesparkerphoto.com for all my upcoming workshops. Next week, the Nepali Coast in Wales. And don't forget to like and subscribe.